Hello there, guys and girls. Welcome to a Napoleon Total War 2v2 with my good friends uh, Z Skills against Sammy GH and Neo Laster. Um, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, I am actually doing a uh, Napoleon Total War battle here, and this was. Um, I'll tell you guys the story. I just think the music is a little too quiet. There we go. That's a little better. So, um. I have always uh, thought that Napoleon Total War was the most epic of all the Total Wars. Um, I thought it looked epic, the explosions were epic, the costumes were epic, the uniforms were epic, the, the horses were epic, the gunpowder was epic, Napoleon was epic, everything about it with the pyramids were epic, everything about Napoleon Total War was just so bloody epic that I could not... Um, I couldn't really handle it like the you know the long multiplayer battles drawn out three hour battles versus players sometimes huge maps I I was just in love with the game but honestly um, at the time I wasn't really interested in playing Total War competitively it seemed to me that the competitive Total War uh, kind of seemed a little bit too um, you know extreme at the time maybe uh, because I was playing you know other kind of games and uh, where the competitive community was a little bit more forgiving I would say uh, but um, I told uh, my good uh, team and clanmate uh, in Partus Flavius for Rome to Achilles um, that I thought this and Achilles is a huge huge fan of Napoleon Total War and uh, he sees himself and considers himself uh, among the top I would say top 10 players in Napoleon Total War maybe he even sees himself as the best Napoleon Total player ever uh, <laughs> quite egotistical but anyway he really likes the game and uh, he wanted me to install it, and I installed it. We played some matches together, and uh, he obviously wrecked me. <laughs> but um, eventually, um, you know, I um, I started playing the game a little bit more, a little bit of single player, uh, just a little bit, you know, two three hours. And um, I played with my uh, clanmate in, well, not clanmate, I guess teammate in FIFA, uh, Z Skills. Uh, now we both decided to go for the Britons in this battle. Now please keep in mind that I am not very knowledgeable in this game. I only know the very very basics. So here on the left is my army. It's composed of uh, I think six lines of foot and these are my regular line infantry and if you're like me and you've never uh, kind of uh, seen uh, you know uh, Napoleon Total War or you've probably seen it but you don't kind of know um, you know what it's about line infantry is kind of like the uh, the main bulk of any uh, real army in um, in Napoleon total war uh, I, I've got one unit of these 42nd foot and these are the black watch I think these units are Scottish you can tell from their kilts over here and these are considered to be elite infantry guys and uh, elite infantry uh, are just like regular line infantry but they're going to be able to stay in fights longer they have better aim they probably have better reload and uh, they have better guns uh, so they're just more disciplined unit in general uh, units in general and, and they are capable of staying in the fight longer and dishing out more damage than your regular lines I uh, know I do have I think two special uh, uh, units of foot here I can't remember exactly what they're here here, here we go the, the King's German Legion that is there they are I've got two uh, King's German Legion foot and uh, these guys are also a little bit better than my re uh, regular units of foot, my regular line infantry. Here they are. And of course, at the front of every army, uh, you need a force of light foot or light infantry. Uh, these units uh, are very similar to line infantry, uh, except that they, uh, I think they have, uh, you know, rifles that allow them to shoot longer. Uh, they also can be uh, kind of sparsed out into this loose formation, as you can see here. And uh, you can... Um, uh, when they fire, when they're in this formation, they kneel, and so you, your units at the back, your your regular, uh, your regular line, they can fire uh, over their heads, and uh, they won't hit them from the back because friendly fire is a very very huge uh, element uh, in this game. Uh, and I'm also supporting my entire army with two units of these light dragoons, and I also have two units of these uh, uh, dragoon guards. And uh, Britain doesn't really have a you know super amazing cavalry. 
So uh, I just brought, uh, you know, two of these light cav units and, and uh, two decent uh, uh, heavy cav units just to mainly counter my enemy's cav and to uh, kind of prevent our enemies from um, uh, attacking or coming close to uh, uh, our flanks. Over here on the right, my uh, po uh, my opponent, I mean my, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put this into slow-mo. In, into slow my teammate Z Skills, he's got three uh, uh, units of a light foot and you can see he's already started skirmishing with our Prussian opponent here we're fighting uh, Prussia and France. Uh, the Prussians and the French have taken this little village here, and uh, this is uh, really, really cool about Napoleon Total War, guys, is that you get to see these uh, little villages and houses sometimes, and you can send your units there, and they will actually take cover, and uh, prote protecting your flank can be very, very important uh, in... Uh, in this game as well but it has a different touch to it because every unit kind of has an aura around it uh, and uh, you don't want to enter your uh, opponent's auras unless you're entering you know with several units and you can get a surround uh, it, it's it's pretty pretty intense uh, tactically uh, so these are actually a King's German Legion Lightfoot here so he has um, uh, uh, that I guess they're gonna be a little bit better and then his regular army is just more foot more foot and then he's got, I think, two Kings German Legion and a Black Watch, uh, very similar to me, a regular general staff, and uh, yeah. So uh, basically, our opponent's armies are going to be very similar to that, guys. You can see light infantry are always brought. Uh, for uh, Prussia, it's these uh, Prussian Fusiliers. Now, um, I think these guys are supposed to be like really good. I could be wrong, but see, you can see they're kneeling, uh, and that allows units behind them, uh, the regular line, uh, to uh, turn on fire. Uh, so there they are. And, um, yeah, you can see a lot of regular uh, line units. See, for, for the Prussians, they're called the foot guards. Or are the foot guards the special ones? Oh, let's see. Where are the rest of the Prussians? There you go. Foot guards. Foot guards. Yeah, it looks like the foot guards are the regular uh, unit for the Prussians. The 8th Rifle Regiment looks like this is one of the elite troops. But, basically, that's how it works, guys. It's lines of uh, guns that shoot uh, at each other. So, what's happening right now? All these smoke effects, all these shots being fired off. This is the skirmish phase of the fight. Um, we're basically going to, uh, uh, me and my uh, teammate Achilles, we're going to attempt to do a very, very wide flanking maneuver here. Z-Skills is holding very nicely with his line infantry. It's going to keep the enemy at bay, and because line infantry are, uh, uh, or light infantry, sorry, are spread out like this, that means that they're not really going to be receiving as much fire in any one location, so they're going to be able to absorb and take more bullets from the enemy. Uh, and that means that they can stay uh, in a fight very long, uh, and they can dish out a decent amount of damage uh, against uh, the opponents. You can see they killed almost 20 men there, they killed almost 20 men here, more than 20 men. So th they can do a really, really good amount of damage, especially against unprotected lines like this. This line really wants a light in front of it in, to, in, to order, in order for them to kind of resist uh, enemy actions like what we're doing here. Uh, the rest of his army is really very similar to mine, as I said. Uh, the French player now has uh, 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 some Voltigers. You can see he's uh, placed his um, uh, light infantry in a pretty good spot, actually, on top of the sail here. They've got uh, really good vision and uh, line of sight, and they are shooting downhill towards uh, Z Skills' uh, light foot unit here that's gone down to almost 70 men. So he's uh, placed very nicely, and you can see how he's protecting his left flank uh, with these houses and these buildings. So the, the French player has lined up also nicely against me here. Uh, I've got all my units pressed up now. And uh, you can see I am shooting uh, with uh, this portion of my army. Uh, here are my units. I've uh, set a preliminary line. Here's uh, my uh, elite infantry unit. And I'm already starting to kind of push out uh, with my uh, infantry. And uh, the first thing we want to do now since the uh, skirmish has uh, officially started on all fronts. France is fighting Britain here. Prussia is fighting uh, fighting Britain here. Uh, so everything uh, is uh, uh, taking place in the skirmish fight. And now we need to kind of pull our opponents uh, in a little bit. So I'm going to send my uh, vulnerable uh, units here. My uh, pretty weak uh, British cavalry forward. In an attempt to try and uh, get these uh, expensive um, uh, lancer units. And uh, these uh, cuirassiers for uh, France. These are very good heavy cavalry, and we want to try to bait them with our cavalry, or I want to try to bait them with my cavalry, uh, and get my uh, farthest unit uh, uh, here uh, to shoot them. And you can see that uh, I have been running my units through the desert for a long time, and they're going to start to get tired, but it is, it's is—it's okay, guys, because there's a, a, a really um, important tactical use for this maneuver. So, 
We're doing this here because we want to wrap around uh, uh, our opponents from this side. I want to be able to set up lines here, over here. I want to be able to set up lines here. And once I come from this angle, I can press with my main line here that has already started going up the hill uh, in an attempt to see what our opponent uh, is going to do. Because I figured, look at these um, Voltagers. They're very isolated here on the hill. They've taken lots of casualties. If I push forward with my line uh, that, that's masked by my skirmishers, uh, I will probably be able to write the, uh, route them off the battlefield. Uh, and if our opponents don't react, then that'll be great. I won't really take many casualties. You can see very clean, very nice volleys here by these uh, uh, units of foot. And we're going to bring this Voltagers down to almost 25, 24. See, they're dropping very quickly. Um, our French opponent, very static up until this point. He's not really doing much to counteract uh, uh, my movement on, uh, uh, on this side. Uh, but uh, you can see that he has already uh, started to actually win and uh, kind of bring the numbers down for this one unit of Lightfoot for Z-Skills. Uh, but Z-Skills has done lots and lots of damage to this uh, uh, Prussian player. Uh, who's now forced uh, to start shooting with his uh, units of uh, fusili, uh, fusilier, I think they're called. So his lines have started to engage with our lights, uh, and when line engages his light, this is really, 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 really good. It's gonna take uh, their ammo off, it's gonna dwindle them down a little bit, and then it's gonna allow your line to approach the enemy lines and uh, kind of eat away at them, and uh, with a couple of good volleys, uh, you'd hope that uh, you'll be able to uh, kind of pull that off. So, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit here, guys. Not much action is going to occur. Uh, just some maneuvering Sir. happening. Sir, our general is under attack. Here we go. Here, looks like my, uh, my general unit got uh, hit with a stray bullet. So, you can see how I am starting now to cave in uh, around our opponents. It's a very, very wide flanking maneuver, but uh, uh, it's going to uh, hopefully arrive just in time. Uh, now you can see that uh, uh, our uh, uh, light units are starting to wear out. Uh, remember, they're not really going to be winning against lines. Um, at, uh, or are they? I'm not sure. It looks like uh, this unit here has taken very concentrated fire, actually. And notice how uh, Z-Skills doesn't really bring his line in, uh, lines in uh, all at once. He brings them in in kind of waves because we want to try to prolong and delay the main engagement for as long as possible. Um... And we're doing, it, we're doing it very successfully. You can see here, I've killed off the enemy light infantry. There's one left, uh, or uh, one more here. Uh, Z-Skills is losing his as well, but... Um, we are... Um, we're now slowly starting to move up again. We're taking ni nice little tiny breaks, and look how far our flank has gone. It's went around all that distance. Away. Across the desert. Our enemies, uh, oh, I, I probably missed the cav uh, maneuvering here. Um, our enemies ended up um, uh, trying to attack our cav. We kind of pulled away, and uh, they kind of figured it was a trap. And they basically refused their entire right flank here uh, towards this way and have given us the, the open space to be able to move our cav and our forces around. This is a big, big, big mistake for our opponents. Uh, they should have uh, at least uh, maybe taken some of the line troops in, in reserve over here placed them down and maybe pushed us back on this flank uh, in order uh, for them to start maybe surrounding us on my left but they didn't really do that and they were very very static and allowed us to do uh, uh, what we wanted uh, some cav action here happening uh, Prussian forces are going to engage onto the British right flank here and this is what I'm talking about guys look at the epicness of Napoleon Total War guns ablazing, smoke, horses men with uh, uniforms that are uh, so pristine and clean before they enter the battle. It's almost like a form of art, really. It's almost like an, uh, a painting from the Atlantic Age. It's, it's absolutely, uh, utterly epic, this game. Uh, so the Prussian cavalry has succeeded on uh, this side, uh, and the, the British infantry uh, now uh, have begun committing uh, in more and more numbers. They are taking lots of casualties, but at the same time, uh, they are also uh, approaching very, very readily uh, on the left flank and, ha and have actually engaged the units on the hill. And the reason we, uh, the reason I did this, guys, is because if, if I approached from uh, this angle here with my flanking force and these units were on top of the hill on the plateau, I wouldn't have been really able to get a good, a good line of sight on them. So I wanted incentive for them to come off of the hill just a little bit. And that's why I pressed my four units of foot here that are still getting very good engagements, even though they don't have uh, the hill uh, advantage. 
Uh, and oh, that guy just uh, killed his own man. Looks like I'm doing an attack order against this unit and actually shooting the... Yeah, you see? I'm actually shooting the, the uh, my own units in the back and shooting the dirt. Uh, I think I will actually eventually figure out uh, that... Um, <laughs> what I'm doing here, but this is uh, kind of me showing you how much of a noob I can be uh, But that this at least my intentions were right So these guys are come uh, have come off their hill a little bit uh, And now I've also engaged uh, these guys and that's gonna finally allow me to begin flanking with these guys um, I uh, began uh, launching my cavalry here I launched my cavalry right at the enemy who uh, did not actually form square in time and Forming square is a way for um, an enemy line unit, see, uh, an enemy, any line unit, see here, I formed a square. This square allows your unit to take cavalry charges better, the cav can't really do the damage, uh, and you can poke and shoot at the cav as it approaches. So you want to get your units into line uh, just in time. See, my opponent could have gotten into line here because he sees my cav is coming, he chooses not to, and I'm going to just run over this dude with my cavalry and just smash into the backs uh, of these uh, fusiliers of line. Uh, and these young guard now are uh, going to see that form into square formation and my opponent now is forced to deploy these elite old guards. I think these are uh, probably the best uh, infantry unit in the game, I think. It looks like they're joined by a horse here today. <laughs> Hello, Philip. <laughs> Uh, the old guard are, have now been uh, sent to the right flank to kind of stop the action from going too far into our favor. But you can see so much is happening at once. Uh, the Prussian por forces uh, uh, have basically lost their entire cavalry, guys. It was a wonderful action by um, uh, Z-Skills who brought all of his units forward here. And uh, he uh, bu butchered and massacred all of the Prussian cavalry. The Prussian infantry are also not looking too hot and too tight. The hill here is really still the only place that has not been assaulted uh, utterly, but you can see that how we have wrapped around the entire Prussian flank, and now we're sending our units on top of the hill. Uh, so really good progress happening here. The middle is uh, pretty uh, pretty strong still over here, but the side, the flanks are beginning to collapse. This flank has already collapsed for uh, our opponents, and the far, far left flank has already collapsed. My cavalry did a really good job, and you can see the remainders, the lines of bodies of line where the enemies uh, tried, where our enemies tried to hold off. So we're going to keep pushing up against these units that have formed into square and when the units form into square that means that they're taking, uh, they're, uh, they can't really fire at one front uh, all at once so you can see only one side firing in that direction. Uh, these uh, units are basically incapable of firing. My opponent should have probably taken his guys out of line because look, my cavalry is not really interested in them. My cavalry is interested to go wrap up the hill and give my guys time here uh, who have taken shelter with this house. See that house is going to prevent almost uh, two-thirds uh, of this unit firing at me which is we really good that's gonna allow us to uh, fire uh, uh, at the sides and look we've killed the general this skills has killed the general on that side so it's looking really 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 good for us right now uh, the uh, the enemy forces are dwindling down so quickly uh, it's, it's ridiculous and now as they dwindle down uh, they charge us downhill but their units route uh, due to the lack of morale imagine cresting this hill and seeing even more units waiting for you here at the bottom it's absolutely fantastic and look, our left flank, far left flank, it's done uh, some fighting and now it's continuing to move forward. Finally, the British cavalry is going to uh, draw its last breath. It's done a really good job, but now it's going to fall to these um, uh, better uh, units of uh, cuirassiers. And, um, but we, we, used, we used our cavalry very good, both I and Z skills. Uh, we used them very well and Z skills cav is actually still alive. And he's going to start now moving them in another very, uh, very tactical move. He's going to surround and go around the enemy's center and the, completely uh, avoid um, uh, whatever forces remain. And he's going to come to assist my forces here eventually. And he's going to just walk through this and hit these units from the rear. So really, really good for us right now. You can see all our units are still firing. Uh, I think these guys are still firing into the, the earth. <laughs> These guys are getting some shots though. Yeah, I should have paid attention to that. I think what some of them, yeah, see? Some of them can uh, can shoot. These guys can shoot as well. These are my elite uh, 40 second foot. And now you can see now the French cab desperately wants to come in, come in here and try to attack and launch 
a counteroffensive down the hill, try to get uh, some sort of advantage back, but unfortunately for them, uh, I form into square, and now look how all the French cavalry is gonna get absolutely massacred. In these squares. They're trying to charge my general. This is a pretty uh, desperate move, but you can see all of the French horses ha have been utterly and completely destroyed. And whatever remains, the, sm the small contingent here is getting shot uh, 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 while I'm not doing anything. So I formed squares just in time. And at the same time, my left flank has finally engaged my uh, opponent's real last strong units, uh, these uh, uh, old guards. But these old guards are... Uh, I think uh, facing a little bit of Alzheimer's and now they remember that they gotta face this way they'll turn around and start firing but um, there are not many forces left and remaining for uh, our opponents you can see how Z skills completely launched an attack with his cavalry and the British cavalry have now taken this village completely uh, and are free to ride down the hill here and destroy whatever remains of the French forces and here's another uh, French cavalry attack. This time it's the French general himself. It's Napoleon Bonaparte. And he is going to uh, attempt to launch a desperate attack to catch my general. My general has already headed towards the hill. This unit forms into square and starts firing. My 42nd foot forms into square and starts firing. And then Napoleon is met by a line of foot uh, when he finally sees my general. Uh, but as you can see... Uh, Napoleon and his uh, bodyguard are going to route off the battlefield uh, towards uh, the uh, pyramid uh, there. That was a very, very much uh, exciting battle for me to play and cast, guys. Uh, thanks to Z-Skills uh, for helping me out. Look, we've almost got 3,000 kills in between us. Our opponents uh, didn't really use their advantage and uh, hill properly. And that's my phone, so uh, remember to leave a comment and a like, guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care.